Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working in our Midnight Garden. Isn't this beautiful? Midnight Garden printable glassine bag mini album. The Midnight Garden part is not printable. That is a paper collection by Prima. That is what it's called. And that's kind of what it looks like. So that is the collection that we're using to create this mini album, plus my printable templates of the glassine bag mini album. The printable glassine bag mini album templates are available in my Etsy shop. There'll be a link down below. There is a, an entire YouTube playlist on my channel uh, just for this specific album. Um, all of the ins and outs, all of the different little specific things that we have done. Uh, all videos are in that playlist. I'll do a clickable link up here and down below if you want to start from the beginning. And I think this is like video number 15 or something. I don't know. I've been trying to break it up into smaller portions. <laughs> so the first video in the playlist is the introduction to the templates. Then there's what we're going to be using. And then there is the how to make my workbook is what this is. This is my workbook. Um, there's just all kinds of videos in there. But if you wanted to start working on the cover, uh, you could start on video four, I think. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. But anyway, so there's a whole video YouTube video playlist for that. And then there's also a list in my Amazon influencer page specifically for this album. Both of these things are called Midnight Garden. Um, and the reason I do that is so that if you wanted to see, well, what was that, um, what was that punch she used or what was that dye she used in that video, you could go to that link and you could see it. Even if it's not available anymore, you, I think the picture is still there. I'm not 100% sure, but anyway, it's all down there. Um, so the show more section, the description box, whatever, there's a little arrow on your phone that's pointing down. If you click that, everything drops down. All of that information is down there. So we're nearing, we're getting near the end here. We've still got our last video. I did these fun, this fun little, uh, traceable template idea, uh, when you're giving an album away. Um, so I did that, which was super cute. And I still got the picture sitting here. I mean, I literally just filmed it, so I'm still like dirty from it. So, but anyway, so it's just a fun little idea. So now I've got all kinds of extra tags to put in the album, minus the ones that I've attached pictures to. But um, I guess I could put these in the album. I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet. I think I'll probably just keep it because I made a video with, you know, this is when I make YouTube videos on albums, I usually keep those for future reference for you guys because I get questions from albums I made years and years ago and I literally have to go look so or watch the video one of the two <laughs> but anyway so I've got a bunch of extra tags from that and if you didn't see this video it was so cute it's so fun I'll link it right here and I'll put it down below so we've still got this right here and we've got this right here so it's the front and back of this page the fourth page so I was looking at all of the stuff that I have left over let me move that and I've got a lot of belly bands left over. And I was thinking about this spot here. Why not use, I have some vellum belly bands left over from other pages that we've done. Do I only have the two? I thought I had three belly bands of the vellum. No, just two. So what if, I'm thinking about covering this spot here and then maybe cutting this in half and putting a piece here and putting a piece here to cover that white spot. What do you think? Does that sound like a good idea, you guys? I think it does. So I'm literally just going to, I'm just gonna cut the tabs off of this one. Oops, this one didn't get cut straight. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying to remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already um, more towards the beginning of the video because I, I wait to the end um, but a lot of people just click away after you know after you watch a video so I'm trying to say in the beginning <laughs> so be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and also share my video um, if you share my video it helps get me out there a little bit more so I would appreciate if you would share it, like on Facebook and um, other places, Instagram, Pinterest, all of that. Okay, so I'm going to trim these two tabs off too. Right, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to get my paper trimmer out to, to get that little sliver because I don't, oops, I'm going to move this all the way this way. I don't think I can... 
I don't think I can. Oh, I might not be able to use my paper trimmer. Nope, not paper trimmer. All right, let me get my craft mat out and a ruler and a craft knife. This is a score pal craft mat. I'm just literally going to lay this on here on the grid. And I'm thinking that's a little under a half an inch. So I'm just going to go to maybe three eighths. Cut it down to three eighths. And we'll just see. We'll just see. We'll see if it fits. And it does. That is such a good idea. So, um, let's see. Does this one... Yeah, that one looks like it's 3 8 too. So I'm going to go 3 8 from the other end. Just because. And slice. And then I'll have a little sliver for whatever. I'll put that in my tray. A little crafty tray. Does it fit? It does. Perfect. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let me put this up. I don't like leaving my craft mat out when I'm inking because I've had, I, do I, used, I might still have them. I've had several craft mats. I don't know what I might have done with them, but I've got several that I have literally ruined and stained so bad. I don't know what I did with them. That they're not salvageable. So I'm just going to try to ink the edge that's not inked. This is just the archival ink and coffee. I'm like I'm going to ink my finger now while we're at it. And then I'm just going to add them. I'm just not even going to think about it. I'm just going to add them and be done with it. Now that white spot is gone. I don't know why I didn't think about that sooner to um, use the belly bands, the leftover belly bands. For something like that. So I'm just going to add, I'm going to add it with my art glitter glue. So tell me you guys, how are you liking this album so far? I am loving it so much. Oh yeah, so this should fit perfectly. Just like if you were matting it with a mat. So it should match right up next to, well maybe not right up. It's going to be a little bit bigger than... Oops, I got a little crooked there. A little bit bigger than this mat, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm loving this album so far. And hopefully when you guys are watching this, I'll be, by the time you get to this video, hopefully I'll either be done already or almost done and ready to have my workstation template out. So that's the whole reason I'm pre-recording is so that I can get that done and ready for you guys. I'm so excited about that. So excited. I mean, you get little glimpses here and there of it, but like this is, you know, an element, this, you know, tray that I made there. Um, anyway, so, so I'm hoping I'm done with that by now, or at least making the prototype or something. I mean, I have a prototype, obviously, but I have to make another one once everything is completed um, so that I know for sure before I put the product out into the world that it's 100% the way I want it to be. I don't think you guys understand sometimes the process that creators go through when they create something. I've made this, uh, what I actually am currently like using, prototyping when I'm making my videos right now. Um, I've, got the, I've got actually two or three of those sets and then I've got maybe four or five different prototypes before this one. So, I mean, it's like, and then once I get everything set and this is the way I want it and the templates are all finished, um, I do another set just to be sure. So, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. So I make sure that when it, when it comes out to you guys, it is the way I want it to be. Do you know what I'm saying? So, Look at, just adding that itty bitty bit of detail. I think it's wonderful. Okay, so look, we don't have to do these because we use the a coffee stained binding strips. So they looked, they look fine. They blend right on in. All right, we need to think about this page and this page. I need to think about it. I mean, I've got elements. I've got torn pockets. I've got the other part of that vellum pocket. I've got these little, little tag pockets. I've got belly bands. I've 
Got several belly bands. Um, I got several pockets. Um, I got a smaller belly band. There's another pocket. The smaller belly band fits onto this page. I guess if I want it to, I could flip it over this way and add another one to the back side if I want it to, but I'm not sure I'm gonna do that. Do I have any? And I have tags, of course I have tags, and I have three envelopes from pages. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out, I feel like that I need to do something on the front and back here. And I'm wondering, I don't know. I want to, I'm going to give it a little bit of thought. So I'm going to give it a little bit of thought and then I will, I will come back. Okay. I think I figured out what I'm going to do on this side. I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do on this side, but I think I figured out what I'm going to do here. I've already removed, I took all the tags out from last video. I took them out and I've got them in my pile so that I can use them if I want them. But we have that half a pocket and then we have a belly band. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn, I'm going to turn this half a pocket, this vellum pocket, actually, no, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to turn it into a larger belly band. Um, hopefully this will work out. Right, a larger belly band. And I have like a double layered situation going on. But for this belly band, I think I'm going to cut off the tabs and I'm going to glue it directly to the belly band we just made. I didn't, I did not trim this very well. Hmm. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to, really quick, I'm going to ink. Actually, wait, I'm going to actually score first. <laughs> Let me move that. I'm going to score this belly band that we just made. That was a pocket, and I'm going to use, this is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard, and this is a, is it already scored? Oh, it's already scored! Woohoo! Never mind! It's already scored! I did that when I did the full pocket. Okay, so now I'm going to gently prep these, because once you fold vellum, it's hard to unfold it. Like, it doesn't like to go back and forth. It's not, not really its gig, you know what I mean? So now I'm going to, I'm going to ink these up with this archival ink and coffee. Ink that up, then I'm going to ink this up. Okay. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do first, because I want it to have a minute to dry, is I'm just going to glue this belly band to that one. So I'm just going to put glue. This is art glitter glue. I'm just going to put glue on the top and the bottom. Just a little thin line. I wanted it to be a little tighter. Um, I want that belly band to be a little tighter, the one on top. Let's see what I mean once we're done here. So, should I get it on there straight? Straight enough? Okay, and I am going to use some tape, and then I'm going to put some glue over top of it, I think, because I'm worried that this one might get a little too much wear and tear because it's like going to be a double-layered belly button. Belly button. <laughs> a double-layered belly band. Belly button. Goodness gracious. That's skybook.com, a quarter of an inch tape. I'll link it below. Uh, <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Don't even know why I would have belly button on the brain. Goodness. <sighs> All right, well, I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit of glue. I'm just going to run a little bit. Oh, I probably should have tabbed my corners, but that's okay. This really doesn't have it up and a down. Not really, I don't think. So, and I'm going to try to put this in the center a little bit. I'm going to try. It's probably not going to be in the center because I never can seem to be able to put things in the center. All right, so I've got it down now. 
So I'm gonna let that dry for a second, but I'm gonna show you, I think, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the, this was one of the instats that we made in the last video. I was thinking about maybe putting that on here, kind of like that, like literally like gluing it down on here, but I was thinking it might need something else. So I'm not gonna glue that yet. So this is one of the little mini envelopes that again, we previously have printed out and you know what fits in here perfectly. Extra instats fit in here. I mean, they have, this has a um, an insert, but I've already used, I think we'd only printed off one so far, but those instats fit in there perfectly as well. So this is what I want to go under that first belly band, right? So then I want to, I want to use these two tags here to go underneath the second belly band. So this one's already inked up, but so what I was thinking about, because remember in the last video we were talking about how, you know, if you was to give this to someone, you know, you want them to have the mat and all of that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to, um, we're going to leave both of these back sides. Oh, did I not, I didn't ink the edge. Both of these back sides, we're just going to leave them white so that they can take the, the traceable template mats out from this back pocket and they can put it on their photo just like these, just like this one, right? And then they can trace out their picture and put it in the album. So that's what, right, here's the big one. It's the same size as this one, right? So that's what I was thinking. What do you guys think? Simple, but they could stuff as many tags as they wanted to in there. I just think it's a really good, good idea. I just, that's got to be, I'm telling you. I know I showed you guys in the last video, but that is the cutest picture. He's, sometimes he's so silly. I just love it. Okay. All right. So that's what I was thinking about doing. So I am going to go ahead and put a whole reinforcement though on there on just one side because the other side, and that reminds me too, we're going to have to give them, if you were giving someone a mini album, you'll have to give them some whole reinforcements to use on their tags if they so choose. So I'm going to pick, these are the ones we just did in the last video. Um, I'm going to pick, I'm going to use the ones we've already been using. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to use, well, it might be cute to have two different colors. Let's do that. But I am going to go ahead and put it on one side, right? So going forward, that's what I think we should do. Just put it on one side. and punch a hole and then when they we're gonna put a string in there but then when oh wow I'm not even close to being on the center I am so way over this away <laughs> we'll put a string on there but then they, they'll be able to take that string off to add their photo and then they can just punch it again do you see what I'm saying so that's what we're gonna do I probably got that one crooked too but again that's okay so it looks like that. So if you were making this for someone, take your time and be sure that you get that in the middle. Um, I'm terrible. I'm terrible about it. So I'm going to use some natural baker's twine on one. Um, and then I'll use the other cording stuff that we have on the other, right? So then there's one there, and I don't know what I've done with it. Again, how do I keep losing that package? Oh, found it. <laughs> right? So you can, if you wanted to, you could write on this white side matte template here or place photo here or whatever you could t and there's there's actually there's stamps for that um who who did i see one time 
I think it was Kathy King. She, somebody, she has stamps or somebody she knows has stamps or something. I don't know. So there's actual stamps where you could literally just stamp on there. Place photo here, which is cute. Did I ink that one up? Doesn't look like it. So anyway, 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 anyway. So that's cute, right? So then let me go back to my idea here. Placing this on here, it might be too much. Maybe I need to, um, maybe I need to think about that. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, I didn't want that. That's my scraps, my scrap papers. Um, looking for, well, sorry, my phone's kind of in the got it on a charger because it was almost dead. I've got all my ephemera pieces. I'm not ready yet to use die cuts, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, it's a little annoying that there's so much white on these. Did I say that already? I think I've said that like 10 times now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to be. I don't mean to be. Um, I think I might use I might not even add it yet. I mean, of course, I got my little wax seals, right? You can add to the to the mix, but I might not. I might. I can't decide what I want to do. What about my flowers? Got a tray of flowers here. Is this all the flowers that I bought? I can't remember having a tough old time remembering stuff. I've recorded so many videos. Maybe that's not a, maybe I shouldn't put that there. guys should I mat should I mat it would it look better if I matted that belly band hmm. oh you know what that's the perfect size for the one inch pieces right would it look better like that or is that just another layer that just makes it look like it's too much. Hmm. So that's the one inch cutoff pieces mat those uh, belly bands perfectly. That's why I was checking. Whoops. This one must be my mama's. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what I want to do. Do the vellum thing again. Where'd I do that at? Right here at the little key. That's cute. It's a simple little embellishment. I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay, I've been fiddling around and I think that the dark envelope was throwing me off in this particular case. So I switched it out for this one, and then I found this ephemera piece, which I guess it doesn't have to be this ephemera piece. I guess it could be anything now, but I just really thought it was kind of sweet looking together. Let me bring it closer so you can see. So I don't know. I could possibly just attach this ephemera piece, you know, maybe just in the center, maybe, or maybe I could have a, ooh, maybe I could do a layered look. Do I have anything else that, I mean, that I love that so much. Like I could have like several cards that are attached though. That would be the thing. They'd have to be attached. Um, 
Let's do this one. Let's see what this one looks like. Right? Or it could be just like something like that. They do have a lot of really cute ephemera cards. I need to go through and separate the ones that aren't flowers, that they're like cards, you know? I need to go through and and take some of them out. Like, I love this color so much. This is the same color as that wine. That's why I chose that wine color uh, for my shades of color, because it's just, it's almost perfect. It's almost the perfect color. You know what I'm saying? It just might be kind of cute. Maybe add a flower, maybe? Um, I thought I knew what I wanted to do. Turn the camera on and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Alright, let's see. What else do we have? See, I feel like some of these are just way too big. Way too big. For this size album, anyway. Yeah, it's way too big. And if this just didn't have such a big white border, I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go through and trim this border down. Right? Look at there. I turned, I fussy cut all that white, most of it, off, and that looks way, way better. What do you guys think? I think it does. I kind of like that. That looks cute. That stinks that I would have to do that, though. I'm going to just ink these edges. It just looks way better, in my mind. So maybe we'll add that there. Maybe we'll just do a little dot in the middle. And then that way, if I need to, I can remove it. Or, I wonder, should we layer these on top? No. No, no. So if I need to, then I can just remove it. I don't know which way is up on this one. I don't guess it really matters. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put, what kind of glue? I'm going to put just a little dot just to hold it in place just for now. I don't know. It may not stay there. But it's cute. Just for now. Okay. So, uh, I need to put this, I need to ink this up and put it together. What did I do with my other one? Oh, let me go ahead and grab this and get these out. Did I put, what am I pulling on? The wrong thing, I think. I don't know. What's going on here? <laughs> so this was the side that was printed out, the side with the feather feathers, but I liked this side better when it comes to this, uh, what we got going on here. So I'm just going to, first I'm going to ink that edge, and then I'm going to close it up. I'm just going to use glue. I'm going to close it up. I'm going to hold it for a second. I'm going to ink the rest of this up. put a couple of these in here. A couple of the extra ones. Right? And then that can slide right in there. Yeah. There we go. That looks better to me. That looks way better to me. I like that. 
a lot. What do you guys think? Do we like? I like. I think it's cute. Okay, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Uh, we will try to do this back part in this next video. Um, and then we'll do some embellishing and things. And then we'll be finished with this mini album. I cannot believe it. Holy smokes. But I'm not doing too bad. Look, it's not getting too chunky. It's not super, super chunky monkey. So we're good. We're doing good. What do we got here that looks white? We're going to have to ink that. We got something standing out that looks white. No, no, no. All right, I'm going to try really hard not to print anything else out um, so we can do this back. Uh, we might, um, let's see, we might want to do something on this back too. Or, or this front. One of the two. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Um, but anyway, I'm definitely going to do something back here. I might just add a pocket. I haven't decided. I might just add... You know, just like some embellishments or something. Well, that kind of clashes, doesn't it? I haven't decided what I'm going to do. So, we'll see. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think down in the comments. And subscribe to my channel before you go. And go be sure to visit my Etsy shop if you're interested in my templates. And there should be other videos here on the screen that you might enjoy watching. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.